When it comes to integrated streaming amplifiers, you can't really get away with that considering the RCAM and the Heagle ranges. What we're going to do today is just take a bit of a closer look into the RCAM SA30 and compare it to the Heagle H120. Both of them are excellent amplifiers, both retail for 3995 so this should be an interesting comparison. On the design front, the RCAM is a lot more big and meaty and chunky. There's lots of buttons and things to do on the front, whereas with the Heagle, it's a lot more reserved, a bit, bit more minimalistic. The LED screen is a lot tighter and cleaner. Looking at the back, it's kind of the same thing with the RCAM. There's a lot more going on here. Um, that's largely because there's a lot more analog inputs and it's also got a furnace stage. But what the Heagle lacks in terms of analog inputs, it more than makes up in its array of digital inputs, including a USB input, which the RCAM does not have. One thing I absolutely love about the Heagle is how quick this thing powers on from standby. You just reach on, press it, and within a matter of seconds, it's powered on, warmed up, and it's already got an IP address right from the get-go. Whereas this isn't quite the case with the RCAM. The RCAM does take quite a lot longer to turn on, roughly 20 to 25 seconds or so. Now, let's be honest, most of the hi-fi components that we have, you know, they take about 20 to 25 seconds to turn on as well. So it's not that the RCAM is slow, I just say it's average. Whereas with the Heagle, it is exceptionally quick. Now, this might not matter to you so much, but for me personally, if I can save 20 to 25 seconds not having to wait for my amplifier to wake up before I want to play music, I'd say that's a good thing. Using both of these amplifiers is very easy. Uh, our preferred app for the Heagle is an app called MConnect, which is available across uh, iOS and Android platforms. We just find it to be a really reliable, easy to use uh, application to browse cloud services and local files. And the beauty of it in the Heagle's case is that you can use it to wake up the Heagle from sleep. The RCAM is also able to be controlled by MConnect and supports AirPlay, Spotify Connect and Chromecast just as the Heagle does. However, one key advantage that the RCAM has is that it is also available on Rune. All of RCAM's streamer, streamer amplifiers and receivers are all Rune ready, which is obviously a huge benefit when it comes to interacting with them. We are told that Heagle are working on a Rune release, but as of today, we still don't know exactly when that's going to be launched. A big part of the reason why both these amplifiers have been very popular is because they are a just add speaker solution. So all you need to do is buy a pair of passive speakers and away you go. That's your full hi-fi system ready to go. And now for the listening tests. In every test that we do here, whenever we compare one product to another, we always keep all the variables the same and only change one thing at a time. In this setup, we had both amplifiers running off uh, MConnect, playing music from Tidal and our local NAS drive, and they were both powering a pair of CAF LS50 metas. In this test, we found that the Heagle produced a very smooth, linear sound, whereas the RCAM was a lot more big and boisterous, a lot more rich in the top end and the bottom end. Uh, my personal favourite was the RCAM, however I have had many opinions saying that they prefer the Heagle uh, because they like that smooth linear sound that doesn't discriminate uh, too much in one particular category of the audio spectrum. So it's really up to you which one you prefer. We often get asked which one sounds better and to be honest it really is a bit like art. Um, everyone sees something a little bit differently so everyone hears the system a little bit differently. Everyone likes something different. So. All we can do is piece the systems together for you and we tell you what we hear, which one's going to be uh, richer or deeper or more dynamic and it's up to you to decide which one you then prefer. That's it for this video. Let us know what you think in the comments and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We actually get to open up again on October the 12th which is very exciting so uh, you'll get to come into store and you can listen to both of these products and tell us which one you prefer. See you next time.